Reoccurring Dreams. Have you ever had any uh, recurrent dreams? Uh, I've had quite a few. Um, one main one that really got me was when I was a teenager. Um, with this one, um, there were, uh, it was probably about a whole month of the same exact dream over and over and over again. Um, and I couldn't understand why the scenario um, of it, but I mean, it kind of makes sense because of where I am now with this. Um, because at the time, uh, you know, we were, and I'm not religious, I'm not, um, you know, in, in any faith except for spirituality, right? I believe with me, my direct connection to source and all that is as one. And so with the, um, the dream, the recurrent dream I had, um, kind of now fits into place now that I am where I am because what I do is channeling and um, one-on-one sessions with people and I do automatic writing and I'm doing spiritual work, right? And so it was kind of like a prelude into where I am now, right? And so when we were little, uh, we were asked if we wanted to continue to go to church because we really had no interest in it as children. And um, we had parents that really didn't go to church either. You know, it was just something that they were sending us to because they thought it was what it was supposed to be. Um, but we really didn't want to go, so we weren't made to go after a while. Um, but with this recurring dream, I was about in my teenagers. I was in like in high school or junior high. And I kept having this one dream. Um, and basically it would start out like I would, it was like I was getting like really, really small. It was like I was getting really, really small. And next thing I know, it was like I was out this, I couldn't fit into this little tiny, like this whole thing just came down. It's this little um, thing. And it was like, I was trying to fit through this hole. It was like going into a new, into an, a different dimension or leaving the body, I don't, I don't know, I was just trying to fit through this area. And then once I was there, I was in, I would walk um, on the other side of that, I would walk into this church. And I don't recognize this church. I never recognized or figured out what church this was. Um, and so I would walk down the church and nobody was in there. It was empty, right? And it was like every single night over and over and over and over and over again, so over like it, probably like 10 times a night, every night for a month, this would happen. And it was like, I would walk in empty church, nothing there. And there was like these big glass stained windows. It was a beautiful church, you know, big glass stained windows. And the sun would be shining down from the one side uh, to this spot right next to me, like this thing, a uh, ray of light straight down, standing next to me as I walked into the big double doors and stood right in front of the, the pew and it would come here and I would just stand there and I didn't do anything. And I don't know uh, whatever was going on, but after that, like I would pay attention to the light and I'm like, uh, just observing it and then the dream would restart and restart and restart. And then finally, probably towards the end of that month where it was happening, I walked in, right? Um, and the next thing I know, like I, the light, I was, the light was where I was. And like, there was this dark figure up in the window still of the stained glass window. And it was like the shadow of a person, right? And that person came down and I had gone up in the light into the window. So it was like we traded places. So I went up to the light and whatever that shadow or figure was, was up there, had come down into the floor where I was. Um, and that was the end of the, um, you know, of the recurrent dreams. Um, and then the only other thing that I remember is like, I had 
I, I remember myself, um, and this seems to be a theme in my life too, is about dying. Um, I've had a lot of experiences with that <laughs> in my life um, on many different levels. And I'll share some of those different stories too as well. Um, but prior to me going up to the light, I said I didn't want to die. For whatever means, that means, I, I don't know. I was a kid at the time, I didn't understand it. But that was the... Um, the ending of that dream when that had played out, you know, and that last one, once that happened, the next very dream is where I went up into the light and then I came down or the other one came down and I went up into the light. Um, so whether that was part of the evolution um, of my soul or my journey or whatever was going on, um, that was a, a like a, uh, a point you know, a set point or whatever it was uh, to move forward uh, from that decision um, that kind of like stopped the dreams. But throughout my whole lifetime, I've had, <laughs> uh, I've had found crosses everywhere. I have found um, a lot of things that just represent spirituality, you know, and at that time it was uh, religious based, I guess, crosses, um, churches, uh, you know, those kinds of things, but we really weren't religious whatsoever. But I have had found out that I've had many past lives um, of nun, of being a nun, of being a, a Buddhist, of being a monk, um, a spiritual leader. Um, so I've had a lot of um, past lives uh, and energy that has been leaking into this lifetime. Uh, so it kind of has made sense. And now here I am again in this lifetime doing spiritual work. So that just seems to be uh, a huge theme for me. And so that was a really cool uh, recurring dream. And a lot of times there's symbolism in there and, you know, understanding, which can help make, um, you know, uh, make us understand certain things. Um, but it can, it's a part of the path, right? It's kind of like a stepping stone um, in order to make a certain decision, you know, whether I was going to go on that path, um, you know, it seems to be that had shifted and changed the dreams at that point. But yep, just sharing another one of my experiences. And if you have any questions on that, um, you know, or wanted to book a session, um, I am free to do sessions. Uh, we do channeling, um, intuitive readings, also coaching. So, all right. Happy journeys.